I'm going to use this arbor press to cut a keyway in this washer. Now I have this rigged up so when I turn this knob, this table moves in or out. And we'll get a picture of this happening. It would work better if we had the uh, if we had this whole thing anchored to the bench because every time I push on it, it makes it more difficult to uh, get it to work here. Back it up a little bit. Smaller bites. Uh, it does take a while with this thing, but it does do a nice job. Especially if it were anchored, you could probably take a bigger bite than what I'm taking. Well, that should be enough just to get an idea of how it works. Well, here's what we've done. We've got to start at it. And uh, it would have gone a little quicker, like I say, if we had this anchored. But we don't. So we'll take a look at uh, how this is put together. So the base of this is a half inch material. We've attached a block to it that comes down. And this is a half 13 thread. The handle on it and a lock nut to keep the handle there. This is just a place to hook a spring to right here. Got a slot in this so that uh, it provides clearance for the cutting tool to go through the washer. And we have a couple of clamp bars, one here and one here. And they are just some 3 8 uh, ready rod and a couple of pieces of metal with holes in them. So that's pretty simple. Here's the two screws that are holding on this block below. Now that slides in to here. Now on this side and on the other side we've got some guides for our slide. You can see here that this has been ground away or cut away to uh, give us a lip here to kind of keep things in place. And here's our spring that is attached to another bolt back here and just slides up and goes on to this right here. So I'm going to put this back together now. And as you turn this handle, you can see it's moving outward. And we've got quite a bit of range on that too. Now let's take a look at the cutter and the square shaft that comes up and down. In order to make this work, I did cut off a couple of teeth here and uh, created a little flat area. I did this so long ago, I don't remember why I had to do that, but I did this. We took and drilled a hole in the end here. It's a half inch hole. And another small hole here that we tapped for a set screw. And that holds this tool in. Now this is made out of half inch water hardening drill rod and we did some machining to it to make a little cutting edge right here. And actually this is a little bit on the big side perhaps, and unless you had a really big washer you might want something smaller than this to, to cut your keyway. 
And this may even work on uh, uh, on some uh, tubing, a short length of tubing that you want uh, a keyway inside. I have never tried that. I've just done it with uh, washers. And this just fits in, in the hole and tightens up here. That was a mistake putting the, uh, the set screw on this side. It should have been on this side. It would have been more accessible rather than reaching around the back. Other than that, it seems to work okay. I found that the less slop you have in this rack here, and it's adjustable with this and this and this and this, the less slop that you have, uh, the better this seems to work.